Well, the Premier League title race continues tomorrow. Arsenal go to Brighton. That's a Saturday night football. Our reporter Gail Davis has been speaking to Mikel Arteta already this morning. Hi there, Gail, at Arsenal's training ground. Uh, Arsenal and their title rivals, I mean, they all picked up wins midweek, didn't they? How does Arteta assess uh, the current situation in, in the title race? Yeah, hi um, Hayley from a very blustery Arsenal training ground. Um, like probably most people that have followed this title race, Arteta was glued to his TV last night, switching between games. Uh, I think the same emotions that lots of football fans were feeling and he's right in it. Um, he just says it's the most unbelievable title race that he's, he's never seen anything like it. And he also talked about this record that Arsenal have got, the best defensive record in the league, best attacking record in the league, and still somehow they aren't top of the table, which gives you a sense of just how tight this league is. Uh, I mean, he was asked which one he prefers, the defensive record, the attacking record. He said the only record he really cares about right now is points and it's about wins and nothing else matters in these last eight games of the season. Win more games, <laughs> that's what we have to do and we're still not at the top and uh, and we have to transform that in, in winning and winning and winning and it's the only way to, to have the chance in the last um, game of the season. You find it amazing you've got the best record in both ends of the pitch and yet there's still one team at the moment sitting above you in the table. This is the level. This has been the level now in the last six or seven years in this league, and uh, and the margins are so small. And uh, let's see. We will have to see those numbers at the end uh, of the last game, and uh, and hopefully if, if they, those are maintained, I think we will have a good chance. Which of those records are you most proud of? The scoring one or the defensive one? Only the winning one. <laughs> the other ones are <laughs> is <laughs> the one that I won is is the is the is the winning one. Uh, obviously, the process is super important. At the end, uh, we want that to reflect in the outcome, which which is what we're hoping for. Right, Gail, what every Arsenal fan wants to know, and fantasy players as well. Bakaya Saka was missing midweek. Is he going to be back in? Did we get an update on his fitness? Well, he came off, didn't he, against Manchester City with a muscle problem, a hamstring issue. Um, and he missed out in the squad altogether in midweek against Luton Arsenal, of course, won 2-0. He's having a, a fitness test. They're training just behind us today and then they'll make a decision uh, on Saka. But as you say, absolutely desperate uh, Arsenal fans to see him uh, fit. It is a huge three weeks. I think it's actually seven games in 22 days for Arsenal, really defining uh, 22 days. So, including, of course, Bayern Munich in the Champions League next week. So they need everybody possible, uh, fit and available, and they are being a little bit cautious. Is he rested, recovered, and good to go on the weekend? Is we the know, only doubt, is he? We will know now. Uh, we we'll have a training session in a few hours, and we will know whether he's fit or not. Are you worried about him burning out in this last stage of the season? I'm super positive. I think it's going to fly and, uh, and be so decisive. He's so strong, um, how much he wants it when you talk to him uh, and how excited he is about what is coming. He wants to be there and, uh, and, um, and he's getting better and better. And um, it's normal. You have little niggles, you have kicks. Uh, he's gone through a lot of that in the last two or three years and, and look at the way he's performing. This time last year, Hayley, with eight games to go, Arsenal's title challenge began to unravel, 2-0 up at West Ham, and they ended up drawing that game against 2-2, and, and the challenge kind of fell apart after that. The biggest thing that Arteta says he's probably learned is that he needs his best squad available when it really matters. And that's why midweek was so good, not just for the win, uh, but the way they won with those five changes, the likes of Smith Rowe and Reese Nelson taking uh, their opportunities. And it means that they're pretty happy around here. It sets them up in a, in a good way for what is just a fascinating, exciting and, and thrilling end to the season for them. It absolutely is. I hope your car's going to get clean as well. I'm just watching what's going on behind you, Gail. A little treat for this morning. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Arsenal can regain the lead at the top of the table if they beat Brighton in the Saturday night football. And then current leaders, Liverpool, take on Manchester United in part one of Super Sunday. Following that, you can see Tottenham take on Nottingham Forest.